watching Local 22 News at 11. Local news that matters to Northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. Welcome back. A sign of the holiday season in Montpelier in the form of a gingerbread house contest with a unique theme. Local 22's Mike Coey joins us from the newsroom tonight to tell us more. Hi, Mike. Well, hi, Lauren. And with apologies to Clement Moore's estate, his best-known poem seemed like the perfect way to describe what was going on at Caledonia Spirits tonight. It was about two weeks till Christmas, and all through the house was renewable energy and not even a mouse. We built a uh, kind of a Vermont farmstead to highlight our local honey, butter, cream, and maple syrup. Lots of chocolate, lots of organic and fair trade chocolate ingredients. What to my wondering eyes should appear but 20 gingerbread houses packed with holiday cheer. All of the gingerbread houses are edible and uh, the requirement was that they were not from a gingerbread house kit. We have about 10 individual submissions and then we have uh, approximately 10 businesses. All of whom put up chimneys with care, hoping prizes from Suncommon Solar Energy Equipment soon would be theirs. It was really fun kind of team project within folks from production, R&D, retail. We had a really good time. I think we probably spent about 20 hours all together kind of working on it. How did they all shoehorn renewable energy in? Through composting, solar panels, or peppermint wind turbines. And the theme about the whole home is something that some common is very passionate about. Uh, obviously, you can get solar for your house, but there are other options um, to make your house sustainable. And so we would like, we wanted to highlight that. And I heard them exclaim as I drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and a renewable night. And all joking aside, the contest isn't over yet. Suncommon is posting photos of all of the gingerbread houses on social media. You can vote on your favorite as the people's choice, and the person or people who made it will get a $250 prize on December 22nd. We have a link for you to vote on our website, myshamplainvalley.com. In the newsroom, Mike Coey, Local 22 News. Nice work, Mike. I enjoyed that. A statewide initiative from the Vermont.